Today we're making a sausage, broccoli, and cheese low-carb breakfast casserole. So we're gonna keep this recipe simple. We're starting off with a sweet Italian sausage. So we're gonna also make the seasonings more of an Italian flavor, but you can use whatever sausage you find. We always just recommend looking at the nutrition. This particular brand, Bottos, has great ingredients. Um, nothing crazy in the ingredients, so we like to get this kind often. The only thing about the sweet Italian sausage is that there is one gram of sugar per link. It's really tough to find sausages without some sugar in there, but the less, obviously, the better. Then we have some broccoli, and we're just gonna go with some cheddar cheese for that rich cheddar flavor. And that's all that's really going into this. So we're gonna start by browning the sausage. And once we get that cooked, we're gonna toss in the broccoli, cook it for a couple of minutes, let it get really bright green. And then we're just gonna assemble it in our 10 by six breakfast casserole dish. If you don't have a casserole dish, that's totally fine. Another route we like to go is using a cast iron skillet. The benefit to that is that you cook everything in it and then you can just transfer it straight to the oven so there's no like multiple dishes. It's a really easy bake and clean up. So let's start browning up our sweet Italian sausage. So now that we have the sausage going, we're gonna let this cook with the garlic and we're going to get our egg mixture together. So we're gonna use six eggs. So to our six eggs, we're gonna add a quarter cup of coconut milk and we're also going to add a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. So normally you would add just normal milk, but since we don't use milk, we're using half and half of each to replicate the consistency of a milk. This will give the eggs like nice fluff and some fatty flavor for the entire casserole. So now we're just going to whip the, whisk the eggs together. You wanna to break all the yolks up. I like to whisk it until you can see a little froth going on. Yeah. So make sure to check on your sausage as it's cooking. You don't want your garlic to burn. The sausage looks almost fully cooked, so we're gonna add in our broccoli. and let that cook for a, a, about two minutes. While the broccoli is cooking down with the sausage, we are going to add our seasonings to the egg mixture. We are going to do a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of red, red pepper flakes, and if you don't like it too spicy, you can dial it back on the red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going lighter on the salt because the sausage and the cheese are already salty. So um, we'll still get a lot of flavor come through. Then you're just gonna mix that up. And then for the entire recipe, we're going to use a half a cup of cheddar cheese. So we're going to put a quarter cup into the egg mixture and a quarter cup saved just to layer on top before the casserole goes into the oven. Quarter cup. I just preheated the oven to 350. Okay, this looks good. So we're gonna turn the heat off on the sausage and broccoli. And let's assemble. guys it just came out of the oven and look at how beautiful it is so you saw before we put it in the oven 
that the eggs weren't fully submerging all the other ingredients, which is totally fine because as you can see now, the eggs do puff up and rise and that's that heavy cream and coconut milk we added to give the eggs some like fluff. So it looks perfect. It was a total of 40 minutes. I think you would probably go 35 minutes Depending on if you use the same casserole dish, you could also double the recipe and then that'll probably be closer to 45 minutes. The thing about casseroles is you can add whatever ingredients you want, you want to it. So you can swap out the broccoli, you can add spinach, you can add bell peppers, you can use bacon instead of sausage. There's so many ways you can go, um, but I'm so glad we went this way because it looks delicious. So we're gonna take it over to the window, snag some pictures and taste it for you. Now that we've taken our pictures, I can give this a try. But we cut into it, look at that. It's just tons of broccoli and sausage and cheese. This looks incredible. I'm super excited. Mmm. We did a good job on those seasonings. <laughs> and the broccoli's cooked perfectly. It still has like a slight bite to it. It's not like overcooked at all. I think the egg ratio is perfect. If you want more egg, you can just add a couple more, like add two or three more. But I wouldn't go past that. This is really, really perfect meat to vegetable to egg to cheese ratioed breakfast casserole. I'm gonna take another bite with some sausage. And you can also cut up your broccoli slightly smaller. We like big chunks. We like to feel the veggies when we're eating them. Mmm. That's so good. Higher fat, good on the protein, low carb breakfast casserole. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you want the recipe and the nutrition and how to do it step by step, you can click on the link below. That'll take you right to the blog post with everything you need for this low carb breakfast casserole. Thanks for joining.